Hello everyone, Pixel the Monk here, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest Eagle's Peak. This quest is considered novice difficulty and is medium length, about 25 minutes long. The requirements for this quest include 27 Hunter and the ability to defeat a level 13 Kebit. The required items for this quest include 50 coins, yellow dye, and swamp tar. Although not required, it is highly recommended that you also have 25 Agility, a couple of Rock and Ardoin Teleports, Draymond Staff or Lunar Staff, Weapon, Weight Reducing Gear such as Boots of Lightness or Graceful Gear, Stamina and Super Energy Potions. There are some maps in the description below that will help you to identify some of the key points of this quest. Open it up to keep it handy. You start the quest by going to Charlie who is located in the southwest part of the Ardoin Zoo, south of the Scorpion Cage. Talk to Charlie and say, ah, you sound like someone who needs a quest doing, and sure, any idea where I should start looking. He'll ask you to find Nicholas, who agreed to capture a ferret for him. Now you'll want to go to Eagle's Peak. The quickest way to get there is by using the Fairy Ring, which is located just southeast of the Ardoin Zoo near the Tower of Life. Use the code AKQ and walk south for a while till Eagle's Peak. If you can't access fairy rings, then walk northwest from Ardoin or west from the Tree Gnome Stronghold. Just on the north side of Eagle's Peak is a tent. Search the books that are located nearby the tent to receive a bird book. Read the book and a metal feather will fall out. Now you'll need to get to the top of the peak. If you have 25 agility, you can climb the rocks nearby or else you'll have to walk around and up. Once on the top, use your metal feather on the rocky outcropping to open it. Enter once open. The passage splits into three, but for now just walk to the ledge and a cutscene will occur. Tell Nicholas, the Ardoin zookeeper sent me to find you. Well, if you gave me a ferret, I could take it back for you. And could I help at all? Once you have finished talking to him, collect ten eagle feathers from the giant feathers pile and teleport to Varrock. Go to the fancy clothes store in the southeast corner of the city and talk with the shop owner. Say, well specifically I'm after a couple of bird costumes. He will ask for materials. Talk to him again and say, I've got the feathers and materials you requested. He will give you two eagle costumes. Now you'll have to head back to Nicholas in Eagle's Peak. Once there, shout to Nicholas. He wants you to bring him the costume. Walk all the way south to a set of doors with an eagle on it. You will not be able to get through, so you must collect three special feathers. Just west of this eagle door is a tunnel. Enter it. On the pedestal will be a bronze feather. Try to take the feather, but a trap will capture the whole pedestal. Operate each of the winches once in the corners of the room to release the trap. Take the bronze feather and exit the room. Continue north to the next tunnel and enter. You will notice an empty pedestal in front of you. Inspect the pedestal and a trail of footprints will appear. You have to find where they continue. To do so, you must investigate the set of rocks that are nearby. If another part of the trail appears, follow them and move along to the next set of rocks. Once you reach the end, investigate the opening. A kebit will appear and attack you. Kill it and pick up the silver feather it drops. Exit the room. Continue all the way northeast to the last tunnel and enter. The corridors are blocked by metal eagles and wings. You must solve the puzzle to get the gold feather. In this puzzle there are levers and there are bird feeders. You must pull the levers and fill the feeders in order to complete this. The map on the screen will show you the correct order in which the levers need to be pulled and feeders filled. To start, collect at least six bird feed which is located nearby the entrance. First, pull the lever which is northwest of the start. Walk to the southeastern part of the dungeon and place some bird seed in the most southeastern bird feeder. Place some bird seed in the feeder next to the one you just filled. Pull the far eastern lever.
Walk back to the handle you pulled the first time and pull it again. Walk to the southern part of the dungeon and put the bird seed in the feeder south of the lever you just pulled. Pull the lever in the southwestern part of the dungeon. Just north of the first lever you pulled is a bird feeder, which is just northwest of the start. Put bird feed in it. Pull the lever in the northwest part of the dungeon. Go to the southwestern part of the dungeon and put bird feed in the feeder closest to the lever. Place some feed in the bird feeder back at step 6. Retrieve the golden feather from the pedestal and exit the room. Go back to the doors with the eagle on it. Use the bronze, silver, and gold feathers on the door to open it. Now put on the eagle cape and the fake beak. Just to the north is a large eagle. Left click on the eagle to walk past and talk with Nicholas. You will give him the second eagle outfit so he can escape. Now exit eagle's peak altogether and go back to the tent. Talk to Nicholas and say, well I was originally sent to find you because of a ferret, and that sounds good to me. A cutscene will occur where you learn how to catch ferrets with a box trap. Go back to Charlie at the Ardoin Zoo and talk to him to complete the quest. Congratulations, you have received two quest points, 2500 hunter experience, and access to the Eagle's transport system. Thank you so much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.